Hello, here's a 10 minute video report on my recent trip to the United Arab Emirates and Sharjah where I did multiple performances of my book symphony, Atrophy in the Key of Dreaming Books. Hello, voice over. Hello, mirror me. This is me in the hotel room on the very first day I just arrived to Sharjah. This is the view from the hotel room. And you see the island to the left out in the lagoon, I'll talk more about that one later. Here's the Sharjah skyline on the other side of the lagoon and the park below which was beautiful at night. So after checking in, we're heading to the venue. This is outside the hotel, we're waiting for transport to the venue. Every day we went back and forth multiple times between the hotel and the venue in cars like this, this minibus. So that means that a lot of my impressions from Sharjah and Dubai were made from a car. I don't mind, I really enjoy looking at new places from a car. And in Dubai and Sharjah this uh, was often the only way to get around. It's um, sometimes impossible to walk just two blocks. I loved the cities. They are so modern, but it's kind of a gritty Star Wars future. Between all of these um, mega skyscrapers, it's just desert and dusty parking lots and lots of dirt and grit and grunge. Here we are now approaching the venue. The white tent to the right was the theater I was performing in. And here you see the main entrance to the book fair with the tent to the right. Here we are walking through the main hall of the book fair. This is Dima, my artist representative for the whole festival. We had such a good time together. He's a fantastic guy from Ukraine. And now we are inside the theater. This is what it looks like from the audience perspective. And now I'm taking you backstage. It's just a tiny room at the back of the tent with a gigantic air conditioner. It was so effective, it was ice cold in there. Here is a mirror to check yourself before going on stage, finding myself there. Hello! And now going onto stage. That's the video wall, the back of the video wall. Look at all those LED panels, a smoke machine and the stairs onto stage. And here's the venue from the other side, with my setup ready for rehearsal and the lead wall at the background. Check out, there's a tiny Uga's Lou in the corner. And here's my setup. I will now give you a quick uh, overview of how this was running. There's a reference monitor in front of me because I need to see if the graphics are crashing. And I'm using two cameras, one to the right and another one up top. Here's the right camera and here's the top camera. I'm gonna switch to that camera there. This is the view of the top camera. So it shows you kind of what my fingers are doing while we are playing. The two computers to the right is Ableton Live doing the audio and VideoMax doing the video. And then I have a backup computer because VDMX keeps crashing. So with this switcher, I can quickly switch between the two graphics computer and avoid a lot of downtime when it crashes. So here, the first uh, rehearsal. I'm testing latencies of cameras. Just lots of testing to make sure everything is running like it should. So here's outside the venue after the first rehearsal at night. I'm just quickly giving you a 360 view of uh, Charger. This is what Charger looks like at night and back at the venue and then we're heading back towards the hotel and often with lots of other artists in the car there were a lot of ukrainian artists at the festival because the producer is a ukrainian producer and i love these uh, drives between the venue and the hotel there were nice little breaks where i could just 
space out and look at local people going about their daily life. Then back at the hotel and I'll give you a quick tour of the hotel. At night it was beautiful. We had a roof terrace where we could have all of our meals or we could eat inside. This was the restaurant of the hotel and every day we had three meals here with breakfast, lunch and dinner and every meal was great with huge buffets. Lots of great Middle Eastern food. This is, was good, this was good, this was good, this was great, good, good. There was always a warm dessert or a cold dessert. I think it's chocolate pudding here. A salad bar with hummus and tahini and lots of different dressings and salads. A drinking station, but you know, Sharjah is dry, so no alcohol for the week I was there. Here's one of the dancers from one of the other productions. And the name of the hotel was Double Tree. And there were lots of these, like here's a double tree with two trunks. This was my favorite spot just here to the left in the corner. I preferred having my meals here because it was a bit secluded. But for this evening, we're together outside with my team. Here's Dima. Hello, Dima. Then, early next day, performances. I did two shows every day, one in the morning and one in the evening. In the break on the first day, I went out to the island I showed you at the very start. That was a beautiful place, it's kind of like a botanical garden island, with lots of tiny forests and wooden walkways and hidden art installations and always the skyscrapers in the background. And at the northern edge of this island, there's a tiny beach and then the skyline in the background. And at this moment, it was the midday Adhan, the call to prayer. And that was so cool. You have this like 360 degree soundscape of uh, a completely different culture in a completely different part of the world. And this tiny island had lots of beautiful architecture, like here is the butterfly house. And that's a good example of a space I typically would seek out, like botanical gardens or art museums or libraries. Places where I can find myself in quiet and peace because I love touring and I love traveling, but as an introvert person I need a lot of downtime and I need these spaces to kind of gather myself and find energy for another social blast. So here I'm whispering with the butterflies. It was so beautiful in this tiny house filled with butterflies. Some of them landed on me, but quickly departed again when they realized I was not a rotten fruit they could eat. Then back to the venue and more performances. And back to the hotel and now I will show you the luxurious pool. In the pool I met a new friend. Hello friend! He was such a good listener because every day I took a break here in the pool, reviewing notes from the performances and planning improvements to the next show. So for each performance, I slightly improved it by shifting some timing or changing the sound I'm performing or reducing parts that I discover, ah, that is a bit too long when doing it live. Some elements of live performances only appear after you've been doing it for a while. So here I'm at my favorite corner having evening meal after the performances and just showing you again the wonderful view we had from the terrace. Here's after the meal we went down to the park and just checked out the Sharjah skyline late at night. Then next morning performances again. And 
then for the third day, I went for a walk along the canal between the lagoons and checked out the beach in the next lagoon. The water was super pleasant, but I didn't have time for a swim while performing. My beach day was on the last day, I will show you this later. Then back at the hotel, and you know, it's a bit hard to read when somebody keeps staring at you. I'm not so sure about this friendship. Then more performances. And these are the other guys also performing on the same stage. That was a crew of uh, fantastic uh, Ukrainian scientists doing like mad experiments live on stage. They were really cool people and it was so fun to have them doing this uh, show on stage while I was warming up uh, on the side of the stage. And they also had lots of fun between the shows with the local administration and people from the book fair. And then my last performance on the fourth day. And this was quite typical for all of the performances in this theater. There were like a handful of people checking it out and everybody was enjoying themselves. And afterwards I had lots of great conversations with the, the audience. I didn't film any of that because I was very careful about not filming private individuals in Charya, that is not allowed. So there's a lot of stuff I can't show you. Then the final breakfast at my hotel restaurant and goodbye to the beautiful view over Sharjah. I had scheduled time after the performances to check out Expo in Dubai. So went from Sharjah to Dubai and on the first evening had time to go for a walk along the creek in Dubai and visit Daira, the old city. So then early next morning heading to Expo 2020, which is a bit delayed because of Covid. The expo area is about one hour with metro from central Dubai. And the metro ride out to the expo area was a fantastic opportunity to really just sit and look and contemplate the enormity that is Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. It's such a wonderful place, but I'm totally aware I've only scratched the surface of this place. I would love to go back many more times. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see my visit to the World Expo, you can sign up to my Patreon, where this video continues for another 10 minutes and I take you through my favorite pavilions at the World Expo in Dubai. I'm looking at how nation states use art and technology to express their visions. Thanks for watching. Bye!